shine again I'm making my way, it's time to win I'm reaching my goals, I have to share Frankie and DC Radio Show on IntellectualRadio.com, iHeartRadio, 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 yeah, okay. With our beautiful special guest today, can you see yourself right here? Okay, all right. Okay, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together for the one, the only, the talented Miss Charmin Jarman. Hey, 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 hey everybody. You. Thank you so much, Charmin, right. for tuning in. Just want to do for a coming check. In. Are you can you hear yourself, Charmin? Uh, now I can. All right, there we go. go. Come on, I'm sound good. check. Come on, Jesus, be a sound engineer. Yes. We need to make sure oh, I get this. Oh, Jesus, I have to borrow this clamp over here. I see. Okay, so, yeah, still nice. away, still away. So we just played the song "I Love Me" or yes. "I Love Me, Me I Love." That's the name of the title yes. off of Charmin Jarman's The EP Sunflower album. Series. The Sunflower Series. Mm -hmm. yes. Tell us about the Sunflower Series. So the Sunflower Series is actually a series of songs I wrote when I was going through. <laughs> um, originally, I've always been a singer and a songwriter, but at the time, I had just went through a breakup, mm 
uh, when I wrote the first song. And uh, I'm sure, you know, being you guys been in love before, you've experienced a heartbreak uh, once or twice or two, maybe. <laughs> but um, no, uh, at the time, I was just trying to get out of a dark place. I was just like really depressed beyond just that person, but just within myself. I started to lose myself in the darkness. And I was trying to find anything that could bring back natural happiness without, of course, using substances. So mm -hmm. I started doing yoga and I did a lot of reading and research and the sunflower just kept popping up throughout like a lot of my readings. And um, one in particular is a story, a Greek uh, a myth about Apollo. Okay. And there was a nymph he was in love with, but when he left to go back as the sun, she turned into a flower. And so basically the sunflower obviously follows the sun. Right. So uh -huh. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Cute. How yes. It kind of played both ways as far as like my love story, as well as just the spiritual awakening. A lot of, you know, uh, beliefs believe that the sunflower is considered an awakened flower like it follows the sun or in my case I follow God that's my light that's your song so yeah yes. that's where the songs came from oh that is so cool what a great <laughs> explanation Thanks. did you practice that nah. I think like that was scripted a little bit <laughs> And cue cards. No. And cue cards. No, that was really good. That, <laughs> that was, was really, really good. That was a really, yes. really great explanation. Thank you for sharing that with us. I mean, because that is why we share albums. That's why we share music. We are trying to share a piece of who we are, man, like uh, telling our stories. So I think that is just beautiful about the Sunflower series. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, we are so glad that we have Charmin today. And she actually gave us stuff. She gave us a CD. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. Let me do that. I'm going to put it up. I'm put it up. And then you also have a video for songs for you songs, songs for, for you. you was a song i wrote um actually while i was working at this bistro believe it or not i've had a couple of hustles and i just kept having this song in my head um and then i met with sam trump who played Shout on this sam. particular song he played the roads and the ukulele and i came to him like i really want you to play the ukulele i don't know what other sound yet but this is what i hear and i sang him the melody and just right there, he just started playing, you know. And I was like, I love this dude. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys know Sam Trump. Of course. He's like, Guess of the show. So talented. He plays so many instruments. And, like, to have him uh, be there with me in the melody and just vibing out, we came up with this. And then I ad added Aaron Day from Astro Samurai. He's playing guitar on there. So such a beautiful song to me. And the video just makes it even better. So where can we see the video? You can see the video now on Facebook. It's on my Facebook page. It's also on YouTube. So if you would like to go check it out, you can. All right. Then we'll also post it to the Frankie and Nisi's radio oh, yeah. show. Page All right. Nisi on our on Facebook it. page. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's yes. To be on it so everyone can see our beautiful guests. So I got to ask you a question. Okay, and then we're going to get into the subject matter. Okay, cool. I want to know about this whole strawberry concept. Please yes. explain it to me. <laughs> strawberry came from my hair. <laughs> okay, well, duh, right? <laughs> um, I, like, I actually dyed my hair about eight years ago at this point. Okay. And when I originally um, dyed it, the lady was like, I'm going to give you a strawberry blonde, right? And I just kind of played with that because at the time I was trying to figure out my brand. So when I would go on stage, I would be like, strawberries, you know, and people like <laughs> actually kept <laughs> kept saying it. Like I would do shows. <laughs> I didn't think, you know, nothing of it. And I would just do shows and people would forget my name, but they will always remember strawberry. So now even to this day, if I'll go somewhere, it's either redhead or strawberries, you know. And then I tied that into my favorite scripture, which is Second Timothy 1 and 7, which is God hasn't given up us a spirit of fear but love power and a sound mind and the strawberry is a passionate fruit you yeah. know they touch to passion so that's my passion is i i want to present wherever i'm at whether i'm hosting something whether i'm singing something i always want to present a passion that's not just in me but also in other people you know yeah. some people right. go to shows to get away right get their head off of their life and i want to bring that passion back i don't want you to come to a show and be dead i want you to come back to life i want you to feel good about yourself for one but then feel good about where you at so 
You know, if so I had to went from sunflowers to strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love with it. The S theme, Charmin. Yes. Charmin strawberry sunflower. That should All be your right. Charmin strawberry <laughs> sunflower. And Charmin. it was crazy too because I was trying to figure out how can I not get stuck in that strawberry thing with the new music uh -huh. because the sunflower, you know, again, it's a temporary moment. But then if you're just not hopping on board, you. Three years from now, probably gonna be talking about sunflowers. Hold on to the brand, stick with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let it stick, okay? Yes, ma'am. There were certain things that I, I used to, I used to hear all the time. Okay, y'all know Frankie Parker, so the last name is Parker. So, yeah. Miss Parker, yes. when we go, Miss mm, Parker, I used to get tired of hearing it. Yeah. Like you know, you would hear that in the audience, Miss Parker, Miss Parker, you know. <laughs> Except for Earth, Earth is the only person that I love. <laughs> I love when he does that. But Frankie Park. <laughs> you know, you hear that and you're like, oh my God, it's so annoying because they keep saying it, keep saying it. But you, yeah. you it's one thing. What they know. Right. That's the one thing that they know. And yeah. it's great to be remembered. So be remembered for something great. Miss Strawberry. Charmin. Thank you. Miss Charmin Strawberry Sunflower. <laughs> All that mixed in All the that. pot. Real nice. <laughs> okay. So let's get on the subject matter because this isn't. A very important night and oh yeah of course Charmin we we are so glad to have you here and we cannot we couldn't bypass not talking about you in particular yeah. but this night is important don't you think I agree it's, it's a important. it's an important day not even just night but like this whole year of just getting prepared for this particular day has been stressful <laughs> I ain't gonna lie I've been stressed all day and just seeing like people's posts is annoying I want this day to end honestly and I know that the polling places are closed but I would just rather know who it is and let's figure it out because whether we get a you know a female president or we get I won't call him a racist but we get someone who is causing this country to just show its separation, there's still a discussion at the end of the day that's going to happen. It has to happen. Because well, a lot of people don't does. want a female president, you know, and that's, that's some some of the reasons why they may vote for Trump. But then on the other end, there's people who feel like he's just too racist, and that's why they won't vote for Trump, and they'll vote for Hillary. And some people just don't want to vote at all because they feel like it's two evils at the end of the day. And, and it, I'm just it, voting it, it for the lesser. And it very well may be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. It very well may be. You know, who Whoever goes in the in the in the place, the most important to me, I've been pushing is the judges, because people forget that part. People always push the whole presidency, but they always forget the judges. They always forget the judges. And those are the ones who are locally affecting us. Yes. Yeah. Those are the people that putting our brothers and sisters in jail those are the people For frivolous that, reasons. exactly those are the people that are raising our taxes or agreeing i should say to allow the governor to raise our taxes you know these are the people why uh, illinois don't even have a budget right now people mm -hmm. like can we get to that part like huh. forget america <laughs> let's just get to the uh, illinois that one i deal with that every day i Ex my full-time job is a state you employee, see what i'm saying so, I understand. so we have people like you know, daycare providers, yes, student, you know, home aides who can't get a check right now because right. our own government isn't together. Yet you want me to focus on a president who right. honestly doesn't do anything but sign at the end of the day. But at the same time, it's like, you know, that this country is a trend setting country. Yeah. So if, if someone like a Trump gets in office, then it's going to make it cool to be a racist. It's going to make it cool. To yeah. be against people. I mean, we're seeing it now, you know, people are talking about how, um, the racism has, hasn't been really shown. I mean, like in that people who are voting for Trump are bringing it to the forefront, but I'm just thinking that, you know, I mean, of course we haven't really seen it, but I do people think that people are jumping on a bandwagon and have the bandwagon of how they're act, acting towards everyone else. Like yeah. the whole thing where his rallies and how they have been pushing out black people and just being very violent. It's just, I can't believe it. I can believe it. <laughs> I just don't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So I got a message from someone that says, so I just checked live coverage on MSNBC. I'm sorry to say, but the map is red at this point. Ooh, baby. And so remains the House of Representatives. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that gets AC Green said you're very deep. You're so deep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, AC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's that scary to me. Yeah. And one of the things, speaking of scary, and, I, and this is piggybacking on today's election, mm -hmm. uh, there was... Some of you may have seen this already. And if you haven't, it's on our 
Frankie and Easy radio show page. So I believe it was last week. Mm. Little Wayne was on <laughs> Don't even. Fox Sports Ooh. with Skip. And I forget the new guy's name that he's uh, the co-host of. So anybody that's on the stream, please let me know. I'm not really familiar with the sportscasters. But this gentleman, <laughs> good looking black man too, uh, mm. a former football player, I believe. Yeah. And he's from Georgia, like a small city in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And they interviewed Lil Wayne. And you know, Lil Wayne is supposedly a sports expert. Like oh. they, they bring him on and to talk about to do commentary sports and stuff and commentary. Such. Yeah. Okay. So he was asked by the gentleman that was interviewing him, the, the black guy about racism and the, the things that he's faced. No, he wasn't asked by the black guy. He was asked by Skip. The issues that he's faced as far as racism goes. Has he experienced any racism? How does he feel about the climate, the racial climate in the United States? Yeah. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> oh, man. So uh, <laughs> I had to stop myself because I was about to curse. And I know we're not allowed to on air. So um, go to my page and you make your own. You set up. You make your own decision. You decide on what you want to decide on. I'm going to roll with, um, yeah, it might be too much lean in his cup sometimes. <laughs> just, just a little lean. He a, he a little too leaned out for me. Yeah. But he said living in New Orleans, right? Born and raised there, right? He's never experienced racism. He's been fortunate enough not to be in that environment. In fact, when he rises up from the stage <laughs> at his shows, Bruh. he sees a slew of different races, predominantly white. Uh -huh. And they all come out to see him and they love him. And he hasn't had an opportunity or an experience with his children that they've experienced racism. Bruh. And he doesn't believe that it exists. <laughs> Help me, please. Nobody thinks racism exists when it's green. And there you have it, folks. <laughs> and there you have it. I mean, but if she took the words right out of my mouth. Is it is it enforced? In other words, is do you think that this is his own idea, concept of thinking? Because when you have that green involved, there are people that puppet you that make Absolutely. you, you know, talk. Well, Absolutely. it could it may very well be his own way of thinking because you know, Little Wayne, he's been. I would say he's he's kind of been rich at, at, even as a as a child. As a kid. Yeah, mm -hmm. when when they came out the Cash Money Millionaires, he was young 13. by like yeah, like 13, 14 years old. Yep. So not saying that he's never experienced racism because I just do not believe that. I don't believe as him being a black man in America, uh I just don't believe that. But he, you know, probably he can just throw it away with money, you know do away with it like well yeah you know I'm experiencing it but yeah. watch me buy this or watch me buy that you know that's, that's just my opinion my bottom line is dude there was this event called Hurricane freaking Katrina <laughs> in the yeah. city that you were born and yeah. raised in yeah. you saw that these people what's called your people refugees you saw that these people were sitting on bridges in, in stadiums for days and weeks mm -hmm. people dying no type of assistance Red Cross ripping mm -hmm. off people left and right <laughs> Somebody called him a gremlin. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just saw it on my feet. That was funny. And, you know, you saw all of this with your own two eyes. They destroyed your 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 Alderman District. Yeah. What was it? Uh, 17. The, the Alderman District 17. I forget what they call them down there. Yeah. But you watched this with your own two eyes. You watched your homie, Kanye West, say George yeah. Bush doesn't care about black people okay. on live TV right after <laughs> it happened and you mean to tell me you never ever 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 experience <laughs> well the craziest thing about it is he has numerous songs about quote unquote black lives matter just not using the term but he's wrote numerous songs about not just Hurricane Katrina but just police brutality and honestly like uh, Nisi was saying I think it's more of Maybe it's a possibility he was high, but also just endorsements. We got to think sometimes these um, rappers are endorsed. And right now he is going through a financial crisis with his label. So he could just be in a mood where, you know what, I got to protect 
protect the last few dollars I do have. And I just think he personally should just take a break altogether from the industry right now. He needs to take a break from that lean. It's a, it's a, it's a lot going on with Lil Wayne right now. And I think it's mentally affecting him and whether these artists like to believe it or not, this stuff affects you, man. Especially if you don't sit down, like you said, you just doing drugs to hide and mask the pain and you know, you're not getting any healing from your issues and your traumas. This like dude been uh, in the Hollywood for how many years? He's what in his thirties? Yeah, in he's our age. He was yeah. mm-hmm. dude, that's like twenty plus years of constant like telling you what to do, how you should act. Numerous women in your face, like you've never had no. And he's had, he kind of has what I it's call unlimited. the Beyonce syndrome, yeah. where like you've got all these fans, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but when you've been raised exactly. to be a certain way all the time, you yeah. can't really be yourself. Yeah. So he may not know himself, but Lee, I'm going to say it again. Put the lean down, homie. <laughs> like, like for real, because it's the, making you Put delusional with I don't know what. Like for yeah. real. Let's keep it real, man. I dig it. Okay, so. I mean, well, is it really, I'm sorry, but is it really like the lean? Because even when I've seen a couple of videos of of artists who are rappers actually on Trump's side because of his foolishness. Like I've seen um, T.I., it was a video going around. It was T.I. Um, I, I can't even remember a couple of the rappers. I just knew I didn't want to listen to him anymore after watching it. Wait, yeah. but T.I. Yeah. Team Trump? Well, that's what he had. It was a it was a video about him and a few other rappers uh, endorsing him or just saying that they can get with him because of how he pretty much talks off the top of his head. Like oh, wow. they think of it more so as wow. a joke, yeah. but like him saying anything and he can, you know, make people pretty much do what he wants them to do. Okay. It was You it sure was it wasn't a Trump like you know, no. made up commercial. <laughs> no, it was hope, it was Jesus. actually Jesus, a video who were saying they hmm. you know, they were saying that they were not necessarily saying it was for them, but they was like, Yeah, I can get with him because of how he talks and, you know, just pretty much who he is or what he has done. Mm-hmm. I've even heard some Hispanics say that they would support Trump of like, you know, how? people working for him. Yeah, it was one time we had someone tell us that <laughs> outside intellectual. Well, you radio. know what? We yeah. did. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Nisi, I forgot about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I'm going to be honest and he's probably watching because I know he's watching <laughs> everything that I'm doing. I'm just going to keep it real. What you say, Levi? We straight to the hip. Mm. Okay, first let me shout these people out before y'all leave. <laughs> Shout out to Naomi Levi, Jeff Gibbs. What up, Jeff? <laughs> Jeffrey, uh, <laughs> Tanisha Sanders. What up? What up? Hey, Tanisha. What's going on? Okay, so listen, I don't even know what I was about to say because I was I got excited about the people on the air, but yeah. we go we go keep it moving. All right, yeah. so about the Clintons. Thank you. Thank you. What about the Clintons? Who reminded you the, about the Clintons? <laughs> about the Clintons. Okay, I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm sorry, y'all. We got to take a quick break because we are coming down to the end of the show, and I want to make sure we get our Frankie's top five. But this is this is getting crazy. It's getting to the point yeah. where you don't even know who you are friends with. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. There it is. Friends, uh, friends. How many of us have them? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have a friend. Keep it real. Who's married to Uh-oh. a Trump supporter? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he gonna call me later. Whatever. I ain't scared of you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my friend, my best friend since the seventh grade, godmother, and he's a godfather. I... Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> We've been friends for years. He's a white man. Yeah. And my girlfriend is black, and they have a biracial child. And he decided to vote for Trump. Hmm. And when we have discussions about it, I'm not saying I don't think he's racist, but I think there's some points where he doesn't understand my perspective of it because we are two different races. Yeah. You know what I mean? And his point was that he was concerned about the military and how things are handled with Iran and ISIS and, you know, not trusting the people that have already had some sort of input or interaction with these these other countries as far as like you know, the terrorism. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I get all that. I get it. But what is but, Trump going to do? Exactly. Let's play devil's advocate, though, because Hillary is the reason for mass incarceration. True. Let's not forget. Yes. And now all of a sudden, oh, I apologize for my terms of super predator. I didn't mean that. Girl, you can't just up and just be flipping like you ain't been in <laughs> po- politics for how long? Mind you, Trump is not a politician whatsoever. He's a businessman. And at the end of the day, this is all marketing for him. Free marketing, Absolutely. by the way, because he has done no advertising until recently. No. Like, ever since he got into this election, people have been putting his name on Twitter and hashtagging him. He has not once paid for not one piece of advertising. So he knows what he's doing. Absolutely. He's a businessman. At well, the end of the day. we knew that when he said he didn't pay for no, he didn't pay no right. taxes. Right, this is what I'm saying. And I'm just like, what is he going to do different than Hillary? I mean, exactly. he doesn't even have a plan. You know what no, I'm saying? No plan. Right. Not we haven't one. heard it. Just we haven't really heard anything. Very, very good. Really good. Great. Really, <laughs> really, really, really deep. Really planned. But what is Hillary's <laughs> real plan, though? Because to me, these debates have been strictly uh, based. I can't say that word on air. I was about to say something really nasty. But this has basically been to see who has the biggest balls. Like, yeah, it has not been nothing about the issues. Not once. It's honestly been like, well, Hillary's ugly. Check out her husband. Uh, he is sexual. Har- like, it has nothing to do with her and her issues. And every time you do bring up an issue with her, she's always apologizing she's always for wrong. her past stuff. <laughs> right. I'm going to need you to tell me future what is going down because you're not helping but, me. But even the, in the apologies, that's a strategy because yeah, the, that's true. they don't expect someone like Trump to ever apologize or be vulnerable enough Facto. to to do something of that sort. So as long as they keep showing the opposite, that she has a point of sincerity, mm-hmm. plus, you know, they have an issue with Hillary being a strong woman. So yeah. showing sincerity through apology is another way of ex- executing her feminine side or, you know, make her, making her softer. Because as much as they say they don't want a female president, they don't want a female president that's super stern and hard and you question whether or not she's a butch they don't want a right. uh, eleanor roosevelt jr okay oh, not <laughs> may she rest in peace you know what i'm saying and I, I have conspiracies about that but, I then, do again, but then if she's too feminine <laughs> oh she's so dainty right you know it's just like hillary she just can't win i just America don't know about her being want. yeah because so we have a first lady in place who's doing all of those things, yet they still call her monkey and all other type of names. So but people are asking her, is she running for office? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm we already Obama's. know. <laughs> well, no, she's going to Hawaii with her boo. Yes. <laughs> Take me. Okay, right. So we're going right. to take a quick break because we're going to, we have to, you know, Charmin, we have this rule on the Frankie and Nisi show where we actually do this thing called Frankie's Top Five. And oh, because snap. this is your first time on here, let the pop cherry, you know, make sure you win oh, you know, you're on the business. I'm a virgin. So, <laughs> she's, a Frankie, <laughs> she's a Frankie and Nisi <laughs> virgin tonight. So we'll be back. I rise so up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Deeply as I feel And I'll be writing poems for you Weekly as I feel And all my thoughts lead to you I will live it's killing Me cause I know I don't have you Words are still too real in my heart, in your heart. I know it's real, but we want, but we want. Disappointed in what happened 
Back on the Frankie Nisi Radio Show on IntellectualRadio.com, iHeartRadio, 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 iHeartRadio. So that song we just played was another one by Charmin Jarman. It was called Songs for You, and there is a music video for it. Yes. It's on my page. If you don't know how to spell my name, um, it's S H A R M O N. J A R M O N, and make sure you follow Frankie and Nisi's radio page Aww. on Facebook. Um, I tag too. them as well, so you can find all of us on there. It's dope, it's dope. Get them likes up. Okay, so listen, we're gonna do Frankie's top five, right? Yes. Okay, so this is how it goes. Charmin, Charmin. Uh oh. Charmin, strawberry. <laughs> Shaman Strawberry Sunflower Jarman. Oh, well, yes. I love it. <laughs> I got to get a drop for that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do Frankie's Top 5. Okay? okay. So what you have to do is off the top of your head, the top five of whatever I ask you. Okay. Oh, All right. My man's dirty. I'm going to just warn well, you I, Okay. I didn't ask any <laughs> perverted questions. So if she twists this around <laughs> in some sort of perverse way, you are a pervert. Hey, like, I it's real. I strawberry for oh, that. All right, strawberry. All right. Okay. We'll have to talk about that after the show. Oh, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So top five favorite inspirers. Ooh, Sade, like, as soon as I thought. Sade, Seal, Michael Jackson. I still cried that he's gone. Um, well, I got two more. My mother, um, and my love. Oh, that's my so love. Sweet. My <laughs> love. I love when they say my love and they don't give names because that means we gotta be nosy. <laughs> Would it be somebody that we know? Possibly. Oh, shut. He likes to be behind the scenes. Okay. Be ha- okay. Can, is he for hire? Like, can I can I hire you him for something? Can for multiple. What kind awesome. of what kind of work could I hire yeah, him for? If you need some great uh, <laughs> sound. Okay. All right. We're gonna give it right. right. Give you that much. Much. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, I get wait. better at getting in y'all business. I get better. <laughs> but, okay. So, top five favorite past hairstyles. Oh, of course. Well, this isn't a past one, huh? It's current. Uh, my short hair. I really liked my short hair wigs that I used to have. Those I were did, wigs. Yeah, I what? used to. I still make them. I ain't gonna get my all my secrets on air. Okay. But mm-hmm. <laughs> I had one where uh, this is my second one. There was a wig that I did like a storm look where it was like the one strip of white and then it was all red. I thought that was boss. Um. I did faux locks before. I might do that this winter to protect my hair. Of course, my natural afro. And then I cut all my hair off before, and that was cool. So I'm growing it back hair. out now. <laughs> I hate it being bald. I hate it being bald. I love it. I had like this, we call it the pow knot yeah, in the yeah, back yeah. of your head. I don't have a cute head back here. That's why I keep it covered. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Right, you got the little hook at the back. Right, right. <laughs> you got that little clank in the back. Like, if I was a dude, I probably had hot dogs. See, my thing is always <laughs> about my cheeks. <laughs> no, like, my cheeks too fat. No, to you like. have cute cheeks, cute yes. chocolate cheeks. Do you just wear big earrings? You know how we do yeah, that. Yeah, you know true. how to, we know how to work it. That's Top true. five favorite strawberry dishes or dishes that have involve strawberries. Strawberry shortcake, ice cream. Uh, strawberry shortcake, mm. the actual dessert. Um... Uh, there's a strawberry apple salad at Panera Bread. That's, oh, that's uh, really good. Um, yeah. I don't know anymore. I can't think of two more. What about strawberry cheesecake? Uh, not really. I'm not like a strawberry cheesecake fan, but champagne. 
Strawberries on That's top a good of night. me. Yes, yes, I can do that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yes, that's a good one. Top five that. favorite venues. Oh, dang! Y'all really making me think. Tonight. Yes, that's what we do <laughs> on intellectual radio. Oh snap! Oh, of course, on. Refuge. Refuge is always shown love, especially Shout to, to indie artists. So much love to Refuge. Um, there's this place in Gary called Backstage. They were the first place to let me feature, actually, um, once a month. So thank you to them. Um, House of Blues is fun. I actually celebrated my 21st birthday there. That oh, was awesome. man. Cool um, I'm sure. Virgin Hotel is sexy. I like that place. Yes, the rooftop, if yeah. you've ever been up there. And I got one more, right? Yep. Uh, I used to love Red Kiva before it got shut down. Did you? I did. I before it got like hood. But like, I hated the When it system. first opened, it was so nice with a nice little circle the in the middle. Yeah. That was cool and real relaxed and chill for some reason. I hated artists. the sound in there. I yeah. Hated it. You definitely needed a I good did a sound. I show guy. there one I time. Felt, I liked the stage, though. Yes. I, I liked the, the whole stage. ambiance was that cold. Was nice. Yeah. The whole Kiva yeah, the type whole, of vibe. Yeah. I, did this, I did a show there and I clowned the sound man so bad <laughs> that he shut my microphone off. Oh. And I kept singing, like, I got a big mouth. Okay? Right. It's cool. <laughs> and this place is this small. I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to get hurt. And you're going to get got. Mr. Sound Man. Mr. Sound Man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, top five. <laughs> yes. You hanging in there, Charmin. I'm, I'm sorry. No, we good, girl. I'm trying to get my brain working. Y'all got me thinking. She focused. Yes. She got the Jeffrey like a, song. Like a song. buzzer and stuff. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Top favorite shopping website. <sighs> See, I'm a thrifter. Okay. So it's kind of hard to shop online. Okay, thrifter. I'm all for the okay. For the top deals, five yo. favorite. All Thrift right, store. boom, here it is, right? <laughs> so <laughs> Buffalo Exchange lets you trade clothes, but like, say you trade clothes, but you really want to buy something too. Okay. Uh-huh. They allow you to have trade dollars, which is more than the money they give you. Okay. Right, because the trade is like fifty percent. Versus like the dollars be like 33%. <laughs> Gee, so I was able to get like so many outfits from just trade dollars. But okay. Um, Play-Doh's Closet. I love Play-Doh's. But it's like certain ones you got to go to because some of them well, be kind of black. turn like super suburban when I said that. <laughs> when I lived in Hoffman Estate, yes. like, that was the first time I saw Plato's Closet. <laughs> and, like, they had like everything there, like yeah. Nordstrom and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. Um, Crossroads on a good day. Okay. They used to be cracking. Now, up. these are thrift stores because yeah. I'm not hearing yes. like, yeah, I got to the one. I was about to say the hole in the walls are the ones, though. Like the ones that don't really have a name name. Yeah. They uh, just like Asian thrift Army. store. It oh. don't have nobody's name or nothing. It's just like a thrift store. Yeah, they know. It's- it's- the hood. Thrift store. store. It's a thrift store. So with no R or E. <laughs> the, like the it's R's 179. Like they were selling all of the stuff, like all of their clothes for a dollar. And I wow. got like so many cute outfits. I ain't going to tell y'all the exact address. Uh-oh. But it's on 79. <laughs> so good luck. She ain't shit. <laughs> oh, no, it's on the side of 79. And then I got one more. Uh, of course, all Goodwills and yeah, Salvation Army. Do you go to the north side? To I'll be man. I'll be all over. I go out west. I go north, and I definitely go suburban, like Oak, Orland, Orland area. Yeah, Orland that's Park a good area. area to go. Yeah, I go to those Goodwills and Salvation Armies out there. That's what's up. Well, thank you, yeah. Sharma Jamin. We are so top glad five, to have you. On. Five, top five. You did good. <laughs> yes, you did. I did right. that, y'all. <laughs> top five. She top did five, that real five. good. That's dope. So, where can we find you on social media? I'm everywhere. I like to keep it simple. So everything is just my name, YouTube, Instagram, Snap, uh, Facebook is Charmin, S-H-A-R-M-O-N, J-A-R-M-O-N. You know, please follow me. I would love your comments, too. And if you want to listen to the EP, you can definitely stream it officially now on Apple Music. If Apple you have Music Apple in the house. Right. Um, but to all people who don't prefer apps and you just want to do, like, a simple stream, it's on my website, CharminJarmin.us and SoundCloud. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, see you that lady. Thing coming up? 
As of right now, this has been a very quiet November. The only thing I am doing is I'm going to New York uh, this weekend just to get a couple of, you know, networking things going. And I'm going to see my dear friend on Broadway. What? what, what who is it in what um, play? Her name is Carla Stewart, and hey, she guys. has been um, on the on the Broadway play the color purple for like the full year it's been going. Nice. Wow. So yeah, she has a new role and um, she found me a ticket and I was like, well, I'm coming because I haven't been yet. So I'm that so is excited. so cool. That I'm jealous. Cool. Yeah. .com. <laughs> so jealous. I told her. I'm going to be hanging with week. the Broadway star. Uh, Broadway. Yeah. Okay. So I've never been to New York and that's, the first thing I'm going to do is go now on Broadway and sing on Broadway. Yeah, and strawberry right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that'll be perfect. And then yeah. go to Black Egg and like, exactly. It and like go in on the goddess. <laughs> Twerk one good time. <laughs> goddess, I hate you. I hate you, goddess. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Well, I'm going to be shameless plug at the Red Star Lounge All this right. Saturday, Ooh. November 12th. We are doing a residency in the South Suburbs now uh, at Red Star, which is the Black owned business so nice. mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen please come out and support Frankie Parker and the gentlemen and it's a request night y'all we're gonna mm -hmm. do all the songs you want to hear as long as we can play it and it don't make me sound crazy okay <laughs> so uh <laughs> we'll be there and shout out to the basement we were just at the basement last weekend Frankie Parker and the gentleman featuring Jennifer Jones what's up Jen and I had a great time and I want to particularly shout out my good friends from Linwood that I grew up with, Pierre Thomas, Quentin Crockett of Angry Heroes. Pierre Thomas is a football player in NFL. Yep. And uh, his cousins, Nakia and Siobhan, Nakia has a great daycare business too. So if you're looking for somebody to watch your kids in that area, she won't beat them, but she'll give them the evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> and she can do it too. So <laughs> thanks y'all for coming out and supporting. And thanks to Frankie Parker and the gentleman for this weekend. You guys did a great job. Okay, so I'm done plucking myself. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Jarman, Jarman, so Jarman, 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 Thank, thank you, so Nisi BC. Thanks for coming. Yes. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen. And thank you, Frankie. Oh, shucks. <laughs> With the awesome arm skills. Right, because my arm skills. She is skills working this over she here. She really like, is. My, my biceps and triceps. <laughs> is I, yes. I know our yeah. <laughs> are like, what is going on? Right. <laughs> but we need you guys live. We need you guys to head over to our YouTube page. So Frankie ain't got to be, you yeah, know, struggling and struggling. stuff. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you can watch phone. us live right from YouTube, okay? The Frankie and Nisi radio show. Thank you okay? so much. Thank you, guys. And that concludes our show for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, Shy Friends and Shy Lynn. Thanks for your calls, your loves, your comments. Thanks for your support on the Frankie and Nisi radio show on intellectualradio.com. Dot com. I iHeartRadio Strawberry <laughs> <laughs>